What's going on everybody? I hope everybody had a great weekend. So today, we're actually going to talk about how to play bomba on congas. To all the new subscribers, welcome to your Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. Some of y'all already know that by now, but I just had to say thank you for subscribing and I do hope that you enjoyed these videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, find out whenever I'm uploading. And yes, I normally upload videos two times a week, Mondays and Thursdays. I know it's Tuesday. I missed yesterday's upload because I was a little bit busy over the weekend, but I am keeping my promise to do two videos a week. And to all my day ones, man, I seriously appreciate all the love, all the support. Man, I just, I'm just so grateful for you guys always sharing, just constantly giving me feedback and constantly giving suggestions, man. It's just awesome every time you guys give your input. You know, th this channel is ours, man. So that's the benefit that we all kind of, you know, suggest things and see where we can go from it, man. Cause we're all learning, man. And that's the benefit that we all learn from each other. And Sunday was Dia de los Reyes. So to all my people in Puerto Rico and everybody that celebrate that day, Feliz Dia de los Reyes. That's kind of the reason why I'm gonna talk about Bomba today. So yes, this is for my Puerto Ricans. I love y'all, man. So a quick little story, a friend of mine named Will Roman invited me to go see one of his gigs on Saturday and they were playing with a group called Cadencia. <laughs> Pretty folklore group. They do bomba, plena, and salsa. It's awesome. I'm gonna link their music below. They're awesome, man. And I just was listening to their music. They were playing kind of like non-traditional style of plena and bomba, where it's very much commercialized. And as well, they took some time and made it very traditional, teaching the audience about its traditions and how to dance and how to really bring everything along. <laughs> kind of influenced me to just you know show a little bit of this I was having this in mind to show it back in December but I got caught up with some other things so I didn't get a chance to do this video so I do want to show you this pattern of bomba and just a quick warning bomba is not normally played on congas they use an instrument called del baril uh, it's a big big you could say kind of conga sized instrument, a lot shorter, a lot wider and fatter, bigger sound, beautiful highs, beautiful lows, man. And it's normally played with three people, two people carrying on the pattern, one person, you would say repicando or quinteando or kind of talking with what the dancer is doing. So the person quinteando actually follows the movements of the dancer. So this is a very folkloric pattern. If you're interested in a lot of those folkloric patterns, I'm gonna also link uh, Pedro Barreras information below. He's a master percussionist when it comes to bomba and plena and a lot of folkloric Puerto Rican patterns. And I learned a lot of this stuff from there and kind of fusionize it with other things. But yeah, I I'm gonna link that information below if you are interested, I do suggest that you learn these things because you can use them in other genres or, or really, you know, kind of open up your mind to just the normal things. And uh, believe it or not, you're going to hear this and you're going to be like, wait a minute, I could use it in this or I could use it in that. And it's that's exactly kind of the point of really learning these patterns and kind of expanding them with respect, but at the same time using its its beauty to, to, to f like fusionize it with other genres. And that's the beautiful part of these folkloric rhythms from other countries, man. So yes, invest in that, man. But when I saw this, I'm like, man, I haven't talked about Bomba and you know, I'm, you know, my background is I'm Salvadorian and I, it's, it's kind of like weird whenever I teach something that I am not from there, you know, but uh, I do this with a lot of love and a lot of respect, man. And I'm actually going to show you one that I it's really influenced by a percussionist named Paoli Mejias. That's Carlos Santana's percussionist. That is also Eddie Palmieri. This dude was everywhere, man. So we're gonna talk about him another day. But yeah, he's a big influence in my life, man. One of my favorite congueros ever. 
And this uh, style, I actually saw him do it in a tutorial um, way back for, for, I think it was LP, and he was showing how to do a solo, and he used this reference of Bomba. And this style of Bomba is called Sika. They have different style bombas we're gonna get that on another day when we talk about traditional stuff but this is just very much commercial it's very much you know not in other words just non-traditional it's not traditional at all but it has those references of bomba but I, I love it i personally love to use this a lot so i'm gonna show you certain things there's things that is done here with this hand and you could say little accents that are done here i'm gonna try to break it down as much as possible after the tough part about bomba, and it's kind of like, kind of like wawanko. Not saying that they're unlike in regards to the style of music, but it's really much of feel and feeding off the other player. Since there are three baril players, they're kind of feeding off of each other, carrying on this pattern, making one whole sound. So it's really hard to try to emulate that when it's just one person playing these patterns. So you're gonna see me do a couple of things, and you know I'm gonna try to give you just a base reference to help you communicate this bomba well. All right, so wish me luck after I try to explain all this stuff. So the pattern I wanna show you guys is this. to love it man man you gotta love it i'm trying to tell you man them puerto ricans that you just yeah so let me show you what i'm doing as you notice this pattern has a lot to do with feel has a lot to do with the motion and if you really really listen to it you can hear the like the puerto rican spirit the strength that they have the, the energy that they have the happiness that they have this rhythm really carries a lot of those patterns man and it's beautiful every time i play it just gets you in like a nice little vibe you know it just gets you so so happy and so crazy man so yeah let me let me kind of break it down for you i'm going to try to show you just a couple of things that are going to help you kind of improvise or add that feel aspect on the conga the main reference of bomba is played on the tumba if you hear the barril is pretty big, pretty heavy, and you know, if you were to have the barril of it. You know, so, so you're trying to kind of modernize it and add your own like twist to it. This is probably the best way and I love how Paoli kind of approached this and I just kind of made it simpler, you know, for me and this really kind of helped me kind of like carry away with it. So I start this pattern with a flam and it's really much a close slap with my right hand and a close slap with my left hand. After doing that close slap with my left hand from the flam, I'm actually going to do another close slap with my left hand. And you can make it an open slap if you want, but if you're gonna see, you're gonna see my right hand kind of start going to the tumba. So it's gonna be a lot easier for me to start to transition to what I want to do here. So to kind of show you how I'm gonna start moving towards the tumba is gonna sound like this. After doing that close slap with my left hand, I'm actually going to do a muff on the tumba with my right hand. Then I do another close slap with my left hand on the conga. And then I do two opens on the tumba with my right hand. So to put 
everything together up to this point, it's gonna sound like this. After doing those two opens with your right hand, what you're going to do is another close slap with your left hand, but this one's gonna be a little bit more accented. So to kind of give you the hint on the feel of that uh, accented slap, it's gonna sound like this. And here's kind of like my twist on it. And it's, I would say it's a great uh, center point to kind of like improvise or add your little twist to it. You could change this up. So, so what I do after that close slap with my left hand, I do an open with my right and then two opens with my left hand. So it's gonna sound like this. So to put everything together up to this point, it's gonna sound like this. After doing that open with your left hand, what you're going to do with your right hand is a muff on the tumba. Then to kind of finish everything off to start the whole pattern over, what you're going to do is a close slap with your left hand on the conga and then two opens on the tumba. Now to put everything together, it's gonna to sound like this. And to really start the whole pattern over, you're gonna be doing a ghost note with your left hand to kind of set you up for the flam that starts the whole pattern. So to kind of give you the clue when it's gonna start up, it's gonna sound like this. Did you catch it? Now to play the whole pattern through, it's gonna sound like this. Now I wanted to pause here for a second because those three opens that you do last, if you want, you could change them to open slaps and it changes the whole dynamic of the bomba. So I'm gonna kind of switch on and off and you'll hear how just open slaps change that whole dynamic of this pattern. carried away with it oh yeah now to count it if we're gonna count this in four four or one two three four which is a good cheat if you want to count it this way the one is actually going to be that left hand close slap that you do initially in the flam so let me kind of play it through by counting it and then see if you can catch where it's at So 
again to kind of slowly it's going to be like this You got to love it. But yeah, again, this is just a very non-traditional way to play bomba, pretty much inspired by Paoli Mejias. And it was uh, very much fun when when I could play it out and be all crazy, man. So, all right, y'all. Y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe. I will see you guys on Thursday. Have a great week.